Have you ever heard of this term before? Dimensional? Now, I'm not talking about the four dimensions of the universe or anything like that. I'm talking about a dimensional person. Well, believe me or not, there is such a thing as a dimensional person and dimensional characters. But let's talk about the dimensional characters for this video. So what are one, two, and three dimensional characters? Basically, one dimensional characters are flat and completely uninteresting. Like a crowd of people, that person walking along the sidewalk, the building. One dimensional characters are like stock characters. They only serve one purpose or role, and then that's it. They're done. Two dimensional characters are a lot like side characters. They're kind of like that one friend you have, but who's never really there. You know what I'm saying? These kinds of characters may have a couple different roles and personality traits, but you never really get to know them too deeply. Three-dimensional characters are the main stars of your story. They are very well developed and the audience has a deep understanding of who they are and why they do the things that they do. Your plot should have Your plot should have Your plot should heavily focus on these guys. So the reason why I want to talk about these different kinds of characters is because as a writer, you should assign different levels of importance to each person. Keep the heroes and the villains at the top, the side characters on the side, and the background characters as the behind. <laughs> the problem that many beginner writers will experience is that they will have main characters who are too underdeveloped or have side characters who are overdeveloped. Your audience will be confused if a side character takes up a lot of screen time or upset that your main character lacks personality. So be mindful with what role your character has and make sure that your characters are more complex depending on their level of importance. I'll give you some examples of dimensional characters in real life that you can apply. Okay, here is The Lion King, a completely real and emotional story. Now, if you guys haven't watched The Lion King yet, something's wrong with you. You all need to see it right now. Stop this video. Go watch it. Anywho, let's take a look see at some of the characters of the show. We have Simba, Mufasa, Scar, Nala, Timon, and Pumbaa. These guys are the main cast. Zazu, Rafiki, Sarabi, and the hyenas are the secondary or side characters. And then these guys over here are, you know, the behind characters. <laughs> The main cast all have desires, fears, strengths, weaknesses, worldviews, and a background history. They play a big role in the story and help drive the plot forward. The more you get to know these characters, the better you'll be able to understand and predict their behavior. And the more detail you can give them, the more complex and interesting they will be to the audience. So add detail, detail, detail. Now the side characters will appear here and there in the story to assist the heroes or the villains. Their roles are important too, but will not be so much focused on. We will know just enough about these characters to understand who they are and what they do and why they do it, but we will not know the side characters as well as the main cast, so details about their personal lives should be left to the imagination. The one-dimensional characters would be the background animals, the pride of lions, or the pack of hyenas. We don't know anything about them and their group besides what their one or two roles are on the story. They're really only meant to set the stage or assist the main cast in some way. If you have a character made but are having some trouble deciding if they're a main character or a side character, then here's a little test that you could do. Take them completely out of the story. Does that change your story at all? If it does, then it's probably a main character. If it doesn't change much at all, then it's probably a side character. And if it changes nothing, it's a behind character. So in a nutshell, knowing how important your character is for your story will determine how much you will want to show and tell about them. In my next video, I'll discuss in detail how to make a great three-dimensional character that your audience is going to love. So I hope you subscribe and stick around because we're going to have a lot of fun. But until next time guys, I'll see you later with a new video. Bye!